WTOP News Time 222. Kids who punch, kick, use chokeholds, sometimes cry. That's what happens in kid cage fighting with children as young as seven. Yesterday, we took an in depth look at that controversial sport. Today, we broaden the conversation to include mixed martial arts for kids. Jeremy Lafreniere joins us live. He is the owner of Capital MMA and Elite Fitness. Jeremy, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, so give us an idea. How is mixed martial arts different than the cage fighting that we had focused on yesterday? Well, and I didn't hear I didn't hear the, the, the show, although some of my friends were talking about having listened to it. But um, mixed martial arts, I mean, we're just mixing various styles of martial arts. Now, when you look at UFC today, right, or, or MMA in general today, you see specific martial arts being incorporated into the training of a mixed martial arts athlete. Um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is one of the core arts. Wrestling and Judo are, is, are also core arts, um, as is Muay Thai and boxing core arts. Now, of course, there's uh, certain fighters have made reputations out of having arts that are not on that list, on that menu, and, and becoming extremely successful in the cage. But on average, you're looking at those particular arts uh, contributing to the success of a modern MMA athlete. Right. We're not in, talking, and, let me interrupt you because we're specifically yeah. talking about kids. And yesterday we were talking about yeah. cage fighting and kids, some of whom are pretty seriously injured and walk off the mat crying because clearly emotionally this is not something, and physically something they're prepared for. So how is what you do different or is it? Well, you know, um, well, first, just as, a, as an aside, you know, you look at, kids playing football and you know i've seen my nephew play football at six and seven years old and i've seen him walk off the field crying and injured this is a so, little different it, well it's not necessarily different in the sense that if you get a good football coach teaching a quality program and then you put the kids into a game environment um there's nothing wrong with that you know i mean the accidents do happen um and that's part of the the lessons that are being taught to kids is being able to accept defeat and you know adversity then uh, in, but in, as far as but in cage fighting and let me just you know move forward like when you take when you take a, a school like ours you have like reputable uh, coaches, you know, I mean, several, I mean, I was a former elementary school teacher. Um, I'd still be an elementary school teacher had not the business taken off and become so successful, occupying so much of my time. But uh, we have elementary school teachers on staff. Um, and, and we teach, you know, the traditional arts of, of uh, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu and Muay Thai, and, and we allow the kids to participate in a game kind of environment where they get to use their techniques to... Uh, to explore the arts, you know, it'd be kind of boring just to uh, have the kids learn techniques and then not actually be able to play the game, like okay. learning how to throw a football but never actually playing a game of football. In, in our but final, as far as Jeremy, Jeremy, <laughs> we, we only have 30 seconds yeah. here. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Um, so give us an idea, though. What What's the minimum age? What's the, the youngest, really, kids should get involved in this? And, and how, you know, do you bring them along slowly? I guess that's kid safety is the most important thing here. Oh, it is the most important thing, and that's kind of where I was going, too, is like, you know, throwing two kids in a cage in a huge audience, you know, and allowing them to do what we see on TV is not what we're trying to, to do at Capitol and at most of the quality gyms in the area. Um, what we're doing is we're teaching the arts, and then we still allow them to have a, you know, to, to practice those arts in a game environment. I mean, there's local tournaments um, that would be very similar to a wrestling tournament uh, where, you know, you have brackets and kids are competing in, in, in sport grappling. And it's so much fun. And the average age is six years old when kids are kind of ready. Their muscles have developed and they can follow multi-step directions. So that's typically the age that you would see kids begin to gravitate towards uh, martial arts programs. All right. Very good. Jer thank you so much, Jeremy. We've got to run. Oh, Appreciate sure. it. Okay. That's Jeremy Love. Frenier with Capital MMA. Money News, every half hour at 25 and 55 on WTOP. And let's go to Jeff Claybaugh at the Washington Business Journal. After a modest gain.